Hi everyone, welcome back. This is a Pilates for Beginners class with a focus on core engagement. Let's begin lying down on the back and then shuffle the shoulder blades towards the top edge of the mat to create a little more space in the spine. Our spine is in a neutral position here with a natural curve in the lower back. We'll begin with some pelvic tilts to build pelvic awareness and core engagement. Inhale, expand the chest. And on the exhalation, feel the belly button draw in towards the spine and tilt the pelvis towards you, keeping your glutes relaxed. Inhale, feel the rib cage expand sideways. And on the exhalation, tilt the pelvis towards you again. So if you had a little cup of tea on your pubic bone, it would be spilling all over your belly. Feel the ribs come in together as well. Inhale, expand through the chest. Feel that natural lift underneath the lower back. And exhale, engaging the core muscles, the abdominals, tilt the pelvis towards you. And you're bridging that gap underneath your lower back, still keeping your glutes relaxed. I'm just going to bring my arms up so that you see the movement of my pelvis. Inhale to prepare. And exhale, draw the belly button in and bridge that gap under the lower back. Inhale to fill up the chest, broaden through the collarbones. And exhale, belly button in, ribs come in together and the pelvic tilts towards you. Inhale, deeply filling up the chest, keeping the head, the shoulders and the neck relaxed. And exhale, belly button draws in, ribs come in together. Let's do two more together. Inhale, feel the ribs expand. Exhale, tilt the pelvis towards you, spilling that imaginary cup of tea all over the belly. Good. Now with the next exhalation, as you draw the belly button in, stay in this position, which we call imprint position. Maintaining this imprint position in the spine, lift one leg into a tabletop position and then the other leg. Stretch your arms forward and this is the distance you want to maintain between your shoulders and your knees. Knees above the hip bones. With your next exhalation, arc one foot towards the floor and then bring it back on the inhale. And then switch over to the other foot. Ensure that the neck and shoulders remain open and relaxed and that your core stays engaged. Keep switching from one foot to the other and remember to maintain the shape that you have in your legs. Only going as low as you can without the lower back kicking in. So we really want to keep that engagement in the core, move the leg away and then as you bring the leg back, think of plugging the thigh bone back into its socket. Keep breathing and ensure that your core remains connected. Good job, let's do one more each side. And now we're going to dip both our feet towards the ground and then bring them back to that tabletop position. This is a little more challenging, so only go as low as you can without the lower back kicking in. Last one here, draw the ribs in, the belly button in as you exhale. And then slowly and carefully release your feet down on the floor. We will now do the Pilates curl up to work on thoracic spine mobility and core engagement. Interlace the fingers and place the hands under the head. Elbows are nice and wide. Shuffle the shoulder blades towards the top edge of the mat. Inhale to prepare, expand through the chest. Exhale to tilt the pelvis, 
and lift the head and the shoulders off the floor. Look towards the pubic bone. Inhale to return, expand through the chest and exhale, engage your core, lift the head and shoulders, keeping your elbows still wide. Keep going like this and think of lengthening the back of the body as you lift the head and shoulders without jamming the chin towards the chest. We're also avoiding pulling or pushing the head in any way, creating tension in the neck. Instead, think of the head resting heavily in your hands. And you're just using the power in your core, in your abdominal muscles, to curl the head and shoulders off the floor. This time, see if you can reach your arms forward and lift one more vertebra off the floor before bringing the hands back behind your head and then release the head and shoulders down. Exhale to curl up, reach the arms forward, lift a little higher, engaging the core, and then inhale to return. This just adds a little more challenge for your abdominals. Remember to keep your buttocks or the glutes nice and relaxed. Just allow your core to do the work here. Last one. Exhale to lift. Reach the arms forward and then slowly return. Good job. Reach your arms overhead and down to the floor. And with your next exhalation, curl the head and the shoulders, reaching the arms forward. Inhale to return, expand through the chest, and exhale, tilt the pelvis, engage the core, reach the arms forward. Look towards the center, keep the neck long. We've got two more here, inhale, to expand through the chest and on the exhale curl the head and the shoulders off the floor and really reach long through your fingertips inhale to reach the arms up exhale tilt the pelvis really think of drawing the belly button in towards the spine as you curl up and we're just going to try to hold here a little longer feel that engagement in the core reach the arms long breathe and then slowly return the head and the shoulders onto the mat. We will now do the one leg stretch for core strength and also coordination and control. Keeping the spine in an imprint position, bring the legs in tabletop and then pull one knee in towards the chest as you extend the opposite leg at a 45 degree angle. Switch over to the opposite side and keep switching this way, still maintaining control in the core. You can either keep going with this or for a little more, we're going to curl the head and the shoulders off the floor just like we did in the curl up. Keep looking towards your pubic bone throughout so that the back of the neck stays long and you avoid cramming the chin into the chest continue with this as you breathe and feel as if the leg is getting longer with every reach making sure the belly button stays drawn in towards the spine and you're wrapping the ribs in towards the center keep the head and shoulders on the floor if this is too much for your neck And keep switching those legs, breathing through your movement and feeling the bun in your abs. Now let's do a couple more here, moving mindfully and with control. And then lower the head and the shoulders on the mat, hug your knees in towards the chest and take a couple of rolls side to side to release your lower back. And then look over one shoulder and then over the other shoulder just to release the neck a little bit. We will now do the crisscross to work our obliques and on our thoracic mobility in rotation. When you're ready, release your legs and to prepare, interlace your fingers and place your hands behind the head. Keep your elbows nice and wide throughout this exercise. 
Inhale to expand through the chest and on the exhale come into imprint position and lift your legs up into tabletop position. On your next exhalation, curl the head and shoulders off the floor, extend the left leg and bring the left elbow towards the right knee. Then switch over to the other side. Keep the pelvis nice and quiet and while you're driving the elbow towards the opposite knee, you want to keep the elbows as wide as possible. So think of turning with your rib cage rather than your neck or your elbows. Think of driving your rib cage around the spine to draw the ribs towards the opposite hip bone. Every time you extend one leg, really think of it getting longer, as if somebody was pulling your leg away from you. Let's do three more on each side, making sure you're not pulling on the head or the neck in any way. Keep your chin away from the chest and find that control through the core. And when you're done, release the head and the shoulders Hug your knees in towards the chest. The next exercise we will do is the Pilates scissors. Reach both your legs up towards the ceiling. Inhale to prepare and exhale to reach one leg towards you as the other leg reaches away. And we're going to keep switching this way, taking two switches per breath. Ensure the pelvis stays quiet and stable. If you're tight in the hamstrings, you can even bend the knees just a little bit, keeping control through the core. If you're ready to take it one step further, reach one leg towards you, the other leg away, and then curl the head and shoulders off the floor. Give one leg two pulls and switch, pull twice, switch, pull, pull and switch. Think of a two-way stretch here, keeping the pelvis quiet, the neck long and the belly button drawn in towards the spine. Keep going this way, taking two switches per breath and the core is on fire by now. Make sure you're breathing, the chin is away from the chest and the shoulders are away from the ears. Let's do two more on each side, trying to keep the legs straight, but of course you always have the option to keep a micro bend in your knees if you need. And then slowly return the head and shoulders on the floor and hug your knees in and roll from side to side. To prepare for the Pilates 100, we're going to go through the three options that you can take. You pick your level. Keeping your feet on the ground, curl your head and shoulders off the floor as you exhale and reach the arms long by the side. Inhale to pump the arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Strong and quick movements through the arms as you breathe. Lower everything down and now bring your legs into tabletop position. Let's try the same with our arms now. Exhale, curl the head and shoulders off the floor and begin to pump your arms. Inhale and exhale. Good. And the last option, if you want to take it further, is to extend the legs and pump the arms up and down nice and quick. Good job. Release everything down. And now get ready to do the whole hundred with me. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Keep going like this with your breath and the arm movement. And if at all you're ready, you can bring your legs into tabletop position. Keep moving your arms in those strong and quick movements. Keep your core connected and the neck long. Of course, if you're ready to take it one step further, go ahead and extend your legs. Draw the belly button in towards the spine. Keep the shoulders away from the ears and keep breathing. Almost done. Well done. 
release the head and the shoulders down give your knees a little hug and whenever you're ready extend both your legs reach the arms overhead and give your whole body a well-deserved stretch i hope that you enjoyed this sequence if you have any questions do drop them in the comment box below thank you very much for joining see you next